Hi fellas, and uh, yes, this is a new video today. New video about the old tool, the Hilti TA905 minus AVR, and um, yeah, I know that I assembled the, this model before, and um, and then and, and, and so on, so on, so on, but sometimes it's good to see a couple of same models they assemble, and uh, yep, yeah, for this one, the problem is. It's almost a common problem for this tool. It's, tool just starts and then stops. And of course, what I seen it was about a week laying uh, around um, in a, uh, on a shelf, waiting for its time to be assembled. And we see that it's the oil leakage here. That means we need a new ceiling. And of course, we need to inspect them the caps and the ceiling here but for now I will turn it on and we will check the fault yep yeah, it just stops <coughs> and this is normally this is a fault of um, of armature winding because it's a magnet on it. Yeah. Well, we remove the handle. Just clean the oil from it. Yeah, what now? Now we want to remove this handle to make the tool smaller. I'm just taking the proper bit. I have the small box for the screws. And just remove the handle. This is tachometer. It counts uh, the rotating of the armature, rotating speed, and uh, we can see the winding here. And we can see that it's uh, no magnet over there, so it's a really uh, big problem. It's a reason why our tool stops. Yeah, as you can see, some pieces of magnets left, but still, it cannot work in this way. Yep, uh, now I will, I will open the house in here, <coughs> or before doing that I will open this cap and check the oil level. I want to get the whole oil out, you can see the magnet and uh, it's just collecting the dirt here. Very, very good decision made by Hilti team. Yep, now getting the handle in the box, just holding it like that to see how much oil we have here. And I want to get uh, as much oil I can out before the assembly get because oil is like a, like a liquid, like a like a am um, like a liquid is just uh, if the oil is not going out here okay I will leave it like this and uh, hope that oil will not go out on the table now I will unscrew this six screws to lift the housing
I will use a screwdriver to do that easier. Yep, just taking the screws out from the housing and uh, yep, it was made a disaster. We can see that the housing here is damaged. Of course it's not a big damage, it's not a big problem. And why it was damaged, it was damaged because this was made... <coughs> I think um, this was made when removing the ball bearing and that's that's that, that's not good that this one is left just if you do it like this just remove the the bended part and uh, everything will be good I'm just removing them Yeah, I believe now it will be good. Yeah, what's now? Now we need to check the ball bearing here. <coughs> you can feel that it's good. But of course, we want to remove the armatures. So we need to we need to remove everything. And um, here's the carbon brushes. You can see that that. This was not a genuine carbon brushes because the auto stop function is connected. That sometimes not genuine carbon brushes works good, sometimes not. And um, if you use good quality replacement carbon brushes, that's good. If you use cheap Chinese carbon brushes, that's really not good. And as we can see, the carbon brushes now is good. They are <coughs> they are working good. Yep. Now we can remove the ball bearing, and the, we will remove uh, in the same way as a previous technician did with this tool, with the two screwdrivers. Yep. Just got it out. And now checking the ball bearing, it's wobbling a little bit. When we're spinning it, it looks good, but we can see that the ceiling it's damaged. Now we need to replace it. It's a 608 ball bearing. It cost I don't know about five euros. Really not a lot. Yep, now just removing the winding, of course you can change it to the new one and uh, something was did that this winding was touching this housing <coughs> oh, it's getting more interesting here yep, now we need to remove these four screws and screw them and remove the connector otherwise we will be not able to remove the armature in the future Just taking it out. You can inspect the plates here, but normally they are all okay. Yep, now we have the armature here. You don't try to take it by the force because it's a spring ring in the other end of it. We will break it. Okay, now we have the we have the option. We can open this part and um, maybe the oil will go out or not. Or we can open this all the tool holder and um, <coughs> and of course check all the parts. And I, don't, I think I will try to unscrew this screws. 
to remove the housings. Normally it's hard when screw the screws and it's really really hard and um, just what you can do <coughs> you can use the vise okay well try to put the tool wise We'll just release the screws here. Okay, the, sc the screws is now released and uh, I will back the camera to the table. That's a good time to unscrew the screws here. I will try to do that with a drill, but I think the drill will not take the screws now. Oh, we take this one and this one. Okay, what I want to do now, I want to remove the housing here. It's on the housing. And I will get one of the screws out in again. Why? Because I don't want this cover to open and the oil get out. Just doing the same with the second housing. And yep, now this one goes out. Just finding the pieces of the armature winding magnets. Now taking Okay, finding the more pieces of the magnet here. Now it's the time to open the the cylinder to separate the tool holder from the cylinder. This is the tool holder, this is cylinder, and we want to separate them. Yep, now we can lift it gently and what can we see here we can see the black oil or the grease it's uh, not good because normally it's not a black and it must be the color like like this one turmopoil oil I bought it on eBay with it from the Westway lubricants and the color of this oil is just a transparent as you can see it's just transparent oil now I have the oil leakage out from the from the gears I don't want it now and I think I will just hold the tool to get the parts out and the oil out 
Yep, I got this part out. Just clean the oil from it. And what we need to inspect, we need to inspect about wear and tear here. It's a now it's a really slight wear and tear, but we can see that it's a, it's starting for cracking or something here. Okay, I'll try to zoom it because it really not looks that you're able to see it when I got it out. Up, okay, and you can see that there's a hole or something here happening. So maybe it's not a big problem, but sometimes it's worth it to check the problem like that. Yeah, because if the part will crack, it will not work and it can damage all the tool. Okay, now it's the time for the hammer. Strange, I cannot grip it when it's greasy. <coughs> cannot take it out now. Okay, let's got it out. And the problem we can see here is uh, it's a dirt. And um, yeah, when you put a chisel in a tool, just clean it. As you can see how the hammer looks now, it's working with the ground, with the you know, maybe the small stone parts, and so on, so on, so on. That's really, really not good. And of course, you can see that the hammer is damaged. And the oil seal of the hammer is worn out. And I will try to show that. We can see that the oil seal here is damaged. Definitely needs to be replaced. The hammer itself is here, is scratched and it's worn out and we can see that it's missing some parts here. It's just cracking and going all around, out, out. And we need to replace it, definitely we need to replace it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now about a tool holder, if it's hold the chisel, if it's not wobbling around, that means it's good. Now it's um, now it's good, I will take it away. Yep, now we can try to take these parts out. Nope, you don't want to go out. I see that you don't want to go out. Yeah, but you must go out. <coughs> yep, as you can see, the orange is getting flat here. Yeah, you can see there's a flat surface of the orange and the uh, yeah, and it's definitely need to be replaced because you will not get all no you will not get all the heating power of the tool. And what can we do now? Now we can unscrew these four screws to get the to get all the parts out and um, yeah, and we will see how much good we have out there. I will try to unscrew it. Okay, it's really hard, but otherwise... Okay, one screw is out. Of course, if you have the powerful impact driver, you can try to unscrew the screw with it, but uh, just uh, notice that, that you can break the screw or or the housing. Uh, so it's better to unscrew the screws like this with, uh, with your hand to 
use your manpower. Yeah, now it's time to remove the cylinder. We just get a tool like this to get all the oil down or as much the oil down. Unless you want to get the oil on your table, then you cannot do that. And just get your table dirty. But believe me, if it's uh, <laughs> full of oil and uh, it's getting out, it's uh, really, really not, not nice. It's not easy to remove this one. Just lifting it with a screwdriver, of course, doing that gently to not damage the o-ring and the housing. Yeah, I'm just getting it out. And as we can see, it's almost no oil here. That's not good for the tool. Of course that's not good for the tool, but that's good for us, because uh, we, we will work cleaner. And we have the connection rod here. And definitely if you will change the oil seal for the hammer, for the striker I think, and uh, of course we will change the o-ring for the piston on the correction rod. Yep, on how to remove it, it's a kind of easy thing. You just need to remove this spring ring, the big spring ring. And now you can punch the crankshaft with a hammer. Just getting it down by this way. Of course, it's easier to do that when you put it on the wires. I will do that by holding it in my hand. Okay, and now we can remove the piston with the connection rod. I'm just pressing them out. And what can we see here? We can see that the o-ring here is getting flat too. You can see this flat surface. So we'll definitely need to replace it. And uh, I don't know why all my camera is greasy. Yep, about the ball bearing, of course, check it if it's not wobbling, if it's moving easily. Now it's moving easily. For this part, when uh, putting this part, like a cylinder or something from the hammer, hammering parts in a case, box or so on, just wrap it in the paper. You will, you will prevent it from the dust. Yep, now we have the housing, it's good. Just getting some paper in to get the oil because we don't want the oil to go on all the box and the tools and so on, so on, so on. This is the parts we will change and what left for us it's a motor housing, of course, dirt inside of the tool which needs to be clean. It's good if you got a part washer. If someone um, know a good video on how to make the parts washer, I'm I will be very happy to see that. And it's a part here. It's a rubber. 
So I will be that happy to see the past washer making video because I really need one and uh, they are really too expensive to buy them. Yep. Uh, now you can see that uh, some oil is going out from the gears and um, we need to still open it. Okay. Just changing to the proper bit. Cleaning the mess on the table. If you have the proper bit, I will put the wood here to make it, make it a little bit more stable. Still not stable. Nope, the wood is not working here. Now I will hold it with my hand. Just get the screws out. And now it's time to remove the cover, just taking it upside down and removing. And you can see that it's really not a lot of oil here, found the second part of the armature magnet magnet. Putting the paper here in the housing and the paper will do the job for the oil. We need this housing now. Yep. And what we want to do, we want to remove the Spring ring, this spring ring for the armature. Here's the ring, it's called armature, and uh, we have a couple of options to do that. We can unscrew the screws, we can unscrew the screws here, remove this gear, then take out the ring, remove this gear, and then take out the spring ring, or we can make that easier, just lift the spring ring the spring ring and uh, then we can hammer out the armature just lifting the ring now we can hammer the armature of course be careful when hammering because you can damage the gear of the armature or other gears so just uh, let just do that carefully the armature is going out and uh, you can see the spring green is left here don't lose it and now we can take the armature ok now we can not take the armature, we can take the plastic piece here I forgot about it just lifting it and I got all the all the armature with all the field and Got it out now. Yeah, just inspecting the field. The field is good, and here's the winding we need. And we need new winding. And you can see from the commutator that the tool was working for years now, because you can see the bump in a commutator. This was made because of the carbon brushes just touching the commutator of the armature, and you can see it's. Uh, about a half of millimeter bump dump that that means really the tool was working for a long time and basically it's um yeah it's a really, really nice tool yeah uh, as you can see we have disassembled the all the tool check at it and uh, uh like uh, almost like always with tools like this with the big tools it's uh 
if you have one problem that don't means that uh, and the tool is working uh, was working before that that means that it's only one problem in the tool for example this tool was humming working and everything was good and then it started to shooting down um, because of the winding from the amateur magnet was broken but as you can see from the tool itself it needs the maintenance, it needs a hammer, the warring and um, of course new oil and yeah you can just replace the winding and leave everything as it is but it's really not a good way to repair a tool especially the tool like this because it's a expensive tool and uh, and they are used in a heavy duty in the construction sites in the manufacturing and uh, so on so on so on so it's really really worth it but more more work more love to put in these tools okay uh, just I will just say thank you for watching of course always waiting for your comments and thumb ups and for now just say bye